Linux is loved by developers for a lot of great reasons. It offers an incredible amount of power for users that need it, and yet with distros like Ubuntu is simple enough for casual users. However, if you've just switched to Linux, you must have noticed that a lot of apps that you used on Windows or Mac are not available for the platform, having been replaced by other usually open source software. So how would you find out about the essential apps for Linux? What's up guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video I'll tell you about the 10 must-have apps for Linux. These are everything from word processors to apps that are similar to Paint. So let's get started. Gparted is a disk management tool for Linux. With Gparted, you can perform a multitude of operations on your hard disk and on any removable storage media you attach to your system. With Gparted, you can create partition tables, create, move, copy, resize and delete partitions Enable and disable partition flags like boot, hidden, etc. Attempt data rescue from lost partitions and much more. You can also format drives with Gparted and the app has a plethora of file systems that you can format the drive into. The app has a simple interface and is not at all difficult to use. The options are clearly named and well organized so you shouldn't have any difficulty in finding them. Should the need arise, you can even get help from within the app menu itself. If you want to install Gparted, you can do so from the link in the description below. Pinta is one of the best paint and image editing applications that are available on Linux systems. It has a very basic interface but has enough tools to be viable for basic image creation and editing on a Linux machine. With Pinta, you can create a new image from scratch and use tools like the brush, select and others to draw simple and complex artwork. As far as image editing goes, Pinter comes packed with over 35 adjustments and effects that you can use to get that perfect looking image. The app also supports a full history undo, so you can undo as much as you want, leaving you free to be creative while editing images. If you want to install the app, you can check it out from the link in the description below. QO Notes is a note-taking application for Linux. Unlike other apps, QO Notes uses Markdown to format text. So you can use all of the Markdown flags. Things like using hash to format text to a heading, double hash to format into a subheading and so on. You can also use single asterisk to italicize text and double asterisk to write text in bold. If you're new to Markdown or you simply need to remember a couple of formatting options, you can always check out the Markdown cheat sheet that comes with the app, where you can see all of the ways that you can format text. Alternatively, you can use the toolbar to format the text or insert links etc. The app will even let you export the file to a number of different formats including PDFs. This is definitely a great app for people who like writing a lot. And if you're new to Markdown, don't worry, it's very easy and you'll get started in no time. We visit a lot of websites every day and almost all of them have a separate account, which means a ton of different passwords to be remembered. Enter KeyPassX. KeyPassX is an extremely powerful cross-platform personal data vault. The app uses AES or Two-Fish encryption to encrypt the data you save inside the app, making it pretty safe. It can keep a variety of information secure inside a single database. Things like usernames, passwords, URLs, attachments and more can all be stored inside a single database. This database is completely encrypted with encryption algorithms like AES or the Two-Fish algorithm and can only be accessed after you unlock it with the password. The app comes with a number of features such as the ability to automatically generate passwords with the customizable automatic generator, encrypt the entire database with AES or two-fish algorithms, allow unlocking databases with a password or a key file that you can store inside a USB drive, add custom icons to keys and a lot more. With KeyPassX, you never have to worry about remembering another password. All of them are saved inside a secure encrypted database on your system. If you spend a lot of time in front of your computer screen, you must have noticed how the blue light from the screen starts to hurt your eyes at night. Well, that is exactly what Redshift is for. The app works by automatically changing the temperature of your display during the day and night. What changing the temperature means is that it reduces the blue light coming out of your display and protects your eyes from getting under strain. If you want to set custom temperatures for day and night, you can do that by editing the configuration files for Redshift the instructions to which you can find in their website. I'll leave a link down below. However, the default configuration will probably work just fine. It does for me. VirtualBox is one of the most popular and powerful virtualization software available. 
You can use the app to create virtual machines inside your Linux system. The app supports operating systems like Windows, macOS, SolarOS and many more. You can then customize the configuration for the virtual machine you're creating, including things like the amount of hard disk storage, RAM and processor cores you want to assign to it. VirtualBox is a very useful app, especially if you want to run multiple Linux distros on your computer, try out Windows or macOS or simply check out apps that you don't want to install on your default operating system. Being cross-platform, the app can be used on any platform that you want to use it in. So if you switch OSs, you'll feel right at home with VirtualBox and won't have to install an unknown app. You can download VirtualBox for free from the link in the description below. Konki, the app with the funny name, is also one of the most useful ones on this list. It's a system monitor that displays information such as time, date, weather, CPU and GPU temperature, system processes, network speed and status, and much more. You can choose from hundreds of themes or create your own Konki theme and decorate your Linux desktop with it. Konki supports more than 300 objects that it can display information for. And you can configure the settings for Konki by making adjustments to the config file. If you need help with configuring Konki, you can check out the official documentation for the app from the link in the description below. PDF Chain is a graphical user interface for the incredibly powerful CLI utility PDFTK. So if you're not comfortable with the command line yet, you will definitely find this app a good way to perform manipulations on PDF files. With PDF Chain, you can merge multiple PDF files into one. You can even rotate the files before merging them together. So even if some of your files are in portrait and others are in landscape, you can easily merge them together. You can also burst a PDF file into single pages print a background or a watermark on every page of a PDF file, and do a lot more. PDF Chain also has a lot of advanced options for PDF manipulation that you can check out should you need them. I will leave a link to the app in the description down below. Have you heard of FFmpeg? If you haven't, you should check it out. It is an extremely powerful command line based media editor and converter. However, not everyone is comfortable with using the command line, which is where QWinFF comes into play. The app is a graphical user interface for the FFmpeg utility and can let you harness FFmpeg's power in a much simpler manner. The simplest and possibly the most frequent use of QWinFF is in media conversion. With the app, you can convert audio or video files between multiple formats. The app also features an interactive video cutting interface that you can use to trim larger video files into just the frames that you want to keep. For advanced users, the app also offers the ability to adjust bitrate and sample rate. The app basically offers all of FFmpeg's features in a simple to use graphical interface. Audacity is one of the most powerful open source audio editing apps that I have ever come across. The app offers multiple options for recording audio files in stereo, mono and multi-channel formats. You can apply a plethora of filters on your recorded audio to make it sound just the way you want. You can apply noise reduction to reduce background noise from the audio and perform things like equalization and adjust the bass and the treble of the audio file. Once you're done, you can simply export the audio file to any of the formats that the app supports like WAV, AIFF, MP3 etc. The app even supports FLAC which is a lossless audio format so even if you're doing audio file grade editing, you will be just fine with Audacity. Oh and also it's free. Well, those were the 10 apps that you must have on your Linux machine. I hope this video helped you get your Linux machine up to mark and if it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel for more cool tech videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.